Hello everyone, welcome back to the videos. It is wonderful to have you here as always. On this episode of Corn Fed Boost, I play with my shaft. Also known as a bump stick. So, for those of you that don't know, or those of you that don't catch the live streams, um, I have one of these cam shafts. Um, and I am going to go ahead and install it in the car. So the reason I'm upgrading, um, well there isn't really a reason, I wanted to upgrade camshafts for a little while. The Camtech cams that's in the car uh, was an early version of it and it just doesn't quite meet the uh, specifications that I am chasing. So it's time to yank it out and pop this one in. So I've got a lot of work that I've got to get done to get it in. I'm not going to be able to get it all done today because I don't have a degree wheel. I might have a dial gauge somewhere I might be able to make use and make it happen. Um, but yeah, in any case, I need to go ahead and get the front of the engine disassembled as well as all the valve train and get the old one out. So, stick around while I bust my ass getting all that done. Before I start though, can I just take a moment to appreciate how good does that throttle body look? Well, throttle body flange. Anyway, I'm going to get this junk off. We'll get on to all of this nonsense.
shaft. Bump stick. Also known as bump stick. So now I get the new one out of the box. We'll jam it in there. And uh, start working on reassembly. Actually, I need to get a new gasket for that, so I'm not going to be reassembling shit. <laughs> Yeah, alright, so I don't know where I left off yesterday, um, but I don't have a degree wheel or a dial indicator, so I've gone and gotten, yeah, so I've gone and gotten both uh, from work, so I can degree this thing in properly. I've got it on four degrees advance at the moment, I think it's going to be too much. I just lined up my welding wire here with the true top dead center that I got marked on the balancer so I'll take it off get the degree wheel on in the same uh, spot and then I'll throw a push rod and rocker in and we shall dial it into the, uh, the specs on the cam car here while I go ahead and do that I've got to cut some more pipe Okay, so after two hours or more of stuffing around with this thing, uh, I managed to get it degreed in within a couple of degrees. I don't think there's any advanced ground in on this camshaft because I've had to put it on plus six degrees to get it anywhere near the numbers on the camshaft. Um, but it's close enough there that I am happy with where it is. So now I'm just I just cleaned up the, the gasket area, put my new gasket on as long as well as some silicone along the bottom line there. Uh, I'm just going to quickly pop this timing cover back on and then I'll, uh, I'll call it a night there because it's getting really late now and I'm getting very tired. And then I'll come back to this uh, another day and button it up further. Alright, so, you have to excuse the, the shape cam here, but I've gotten all the packages this afternoon. Firstly, I've got my nice little washer from Tap. Nugget sent me my SD cards back, and then I get this one from Reese. With a nice little note hiding inside. I should have opened this sooner. Um, so, the horsepower wars has begun. You have a few little secrets up your sleeve that at this point of time YouTube don't know about. Same goes with me. The race to 9.6 at 144 is well and truly on. May the better man win. RK Garage and Reese. Uh, well sir, firstly, I don't have any secrets. Yes, YouTube doesn't know about them yet, but I have filmed them. Um, I'm very open with my car and my build. And secondly, that's a very nice wastegate you've got there. Um, I may have to look into getting one myself one day. And thirdly, didn't 
anyone ever teach you not to bite the hand that feeds you? Um, I am the one making your nice fancy manifolds. No, I'm just kidding, I never do that. Um, yeah, 9.6 and 144 it is, even though I'm pretty sure that pass was at 127 from the slip or the photo of the slip that I have anyway. May the best man win indeed. I'm keen to see what you come up with. Anyway, that being said, uh, better get back in the shed and get some more bloody work done, but, uh, shouldn't I? Alright, so, came out here last night, uh, while I was getting these guys made up for Reese's manifolds, and I Got a bit done on this while I was out here and waiting for the bandsaw to do its thing. Um, I'm pretty sure in the last clip you would have seen I got the front cover back on, maybe the balancer back on, and that was about it. Uh, last night I got the intake manifold on, push rods, rockers, um, and all of that resealed back up. So now I can go and do things like put breathers back on. Um, I still can't put the upper intake manifold on because I haven't finished with it yet. But I think today I'll get like most of this shit sorted like pulleys, um, the heated piping, uh, the exhaust back on and turbo stuff. Might get the rad back in to sort of button up this sort of area. So then once I get the upper intake sorted, we can start her up and see how she sounds. Um, the tune's going to be way off, so I'm going to have to have the laptop with me when I do that. But yeah, i got to put the plugs back in. Anyway, did I get that done up? Yeah, I got that done up and that done up. What did I do with that plug? Uh, once again, I didn't charge me damn torch. Right. I bloody hate this pipe with a passion. It has to be the worst thing ever invented. And if, it, if I had my way, I would delete it and just put some bloody AN fittings on it.
sneak in. Good job. Good job. Alright, well, that's where I'm going to leave it in this video, guys. Um, it is more or less back together, finally. Uh, it's been a lot of work to um, get this cam changed over. Not something I would definitely recommend doing in a car, but it is definitely possible. It's just a right pain in the ass. Um, so, I'm still waiting on a, a couple of things before I can go ahead and fire this thing up, specifically for the intake manifold. Uh, one, I want to give it another fresh coat of paint. Um, and I'm thinking I might paint the lid for it the same colour as my wheels, I'm not too sure yet. Uh, mostly because that is a colour that I have here. Uh, and I'm waiting on a new accelerator cable that I've ordered. But that isn't really stopping me from starting it up. Uh, I do, however, want to get the bracket for the accelerator cable mounted to the intake manifold before I go and paint it. And I'd like to paint it before I start it up. So hopefully that'll be here in a couple of days. And then I can go ahead and swap it all over. Uh, route the cable where it needs to be, bolt it all up and then work out a mounting solution for that and then yeah I'll get to painting it fitting it back to the car and then we'll start this this beast back up and see what she sounds like with the new cam and this is something I'm going to need my laptop for because the tune is going to be not even close but anyway I have a couple of things to do off camera like weld on a Wiggins clamp to that throttle body I might quickly yank this inner cooler off and weld the two Wiggins clamp fittings I have to that. And um, yeah, that's all I've got for you guys in this video. Um, next video, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be doing. Hopefully it'll be getting this thing sorted to fire back up, but that might not be for a couple of weeks yet. So I may or may not have a video for a week or so see how that plays out. Yeah, anyway, I'm pretty happy with the way it went, apart from the timing, the timing was the right pain in the butt. Hopefully I haven't gone and damaged any of the cam bearings. Uh, the cams still seem to spin nice and free. Mm, the engine still turns over fine, still sounds like it's got good compression, so we'll see how it goes when I go to fire it up. So anyway, thank you all for watching in this video. Please leave your likes comments down below subscribe if you're new to the channel and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye